So can Oforiata, you have embarrassed us enough. This is the man who under their government have not ceased to break all the negative records of economic management. Unfortunately, the man who says he wants to become president was touted as the one with the magic wand. Today, he is so silent, I didn't even know he's alive. I only heard it a few days ago because he was somewhere telling them that they should vote for him to become president because he has a better vision. We are waiting for him. Ladies and gentlemen, it is obvious that Ghana is at a crossroads. And we need to engage in a very aggressive and difficult work to rescue this country. And the Ministry of Finance together with the IMF should focus on the difficult tasks and stop the lobbying and the press events. They will not deal with the challenges of the average Ghanaian. As we speak today, the government is struggling, seriously struggling, to pay pension deductions of workers on tier one and tier two. So all the work you are doing, the money is that they deduct from your salary, you have earned it. The government has deducted your own money. Go and give my money to my pension service provider to invest this for my pension. You are not giving the money to the people. You are keeping the money because you don't have the money. And you tell us that you have turned the corner. Which of the corners is that? So if they don't invest that money, how can they make any returns to give me a good pension? So you are sacrificing the pensions of Ghanaians. Meanwhile, your IMF program says that you are bad from further accumulating arrears. And that same IMF came and looked the other way. Knowing that you are not even paying pension deductions. In other words, your compensation, your wages and salaries budget, you are not paying it fully. You are just paying people net salary. All other deductions, you, you don't care. And you say you have turned the corner. When you are sacrificing people's future. Mm -hmm.